Welcome back to our SketchUp Pro tutorial series. We are still looking at our plan set nine and in our custom closet. And so we wanna add in some where the actual hangers are. And then we wanna go in and add a little shelf system here underneath our window. So to start off with, I'm going to turn off the visibility of my walls. That way we can just get into this area a little bit better. And the first thing we I want to do is go ahead and take my tape measure, create a go down from the very top 3.5, create a rectangle along that, and do a push pull of 0.75. I'm going to triple click on it, right click, make this a component. And we're going to do so one by four closet. Now, this particular one by four, we're going to take the move tool, hit control, and we want to move it to this place down here. We also want to make a copy and put one there. Let's rotate around. Make a copy. I want to place one here. I want to place one right here. I also want to, we need to place one at the end of each one of these pieces. along with up here. When you're zooming in, make sure you hover over one of the pieces because that's what's going to zoom into. Hit your space bar in order to have your select icon back. And so we're just going through and moving and making copies of all of these one by fours and placing them on each side. One last one. So we have a two by one, two by one, one by four on each side. Next, we're going to, we can zoom in, take our tape measure, go from the very back up. 12 inches. We then want to go from the very bottom or the top and find that midpoint, which is one and three fourths of an inch. Select the circle tool, click on that intersection of the guides, and then go out to the right, point 0.75. Take your push pull tool. and draw in your circle to the other side. Triple click on it, right click. Let's make this a group. Make a copy of it. Actually, we will come in here and draw in the rest of these. It's probably going to be simpler. So center point, 12 inches, 0.75. Make that a group.
And we'll do this to the other, other few. Okay, when you're doing this, make sure that because we don't have the walls, make sure that you're doing it in the right direction. But same exact steps going through the entire thing. So 0.75, push pull tool will bring this across, inference to that other side, and triple click on it to make sure that everything is selected, right click and make it a group. Again, using those sheet keyboard shortcuts really, really help in speeding up your process. If you mess up, hit Control, Control Z, or you can go to Edit, Undo. And this is our last one. Let's go ahead and close, erase our groups, or not erase our groups, but erase our guides. And let's bring back our walls. So at this point, we're going to zoom in to this very bottom and I want to create a shelving system here underneath our window. Our window isn't quite centered, um, but that's fine. We want to center up this, this, um, this shelf. So what we can do is if you go to the right from the right, hit the right arrow key, come up to the very top and you can inference that midpoint which is three feet one and three eighths inch so we can click on that from that center mark we're going to go over to the right nine inches we're going to go over to the left nine inches and we're going to go from the very back forward 12 inches. Take our rectangle tool, create our rectangle, hit the push pull, push pull tool, bring this up four foot eight. Select the offset tool and we're going to create a three fourths of an inch offset. And we're going to push this back. 11.25 inches. That way it keeps a three-fourths of an inch on the very back. We're going to triple click on this, right click and make it a group. And lastly we'll make our shelves by taking our rectangle tool. The exterior is already a group so we can draw on this without worrying about it being, being stuck to it. So we want to 0.75. Try 
try this again, 0.75. Anytime you do the push pull tool and it moves a little bit, double check to make sure that it's actually correct. Like mine, it wasn't. So I had to undo it and redo it. So just make sure of that. Always kind of double check your measurements if you, if you feel like it's not quite right. Uh, I'm gonna make this a component. I want to move this up. Let's do nine inches. Then before I do anything else, I want to hit X, six, enter. So let's try again. So nine, enter, X, six, there we go. and that replicates replicates it up going up for forward so let's go ahead and I want to bring this down then we can bring everything to a close so I want to I need to delete that one I'll take my selection tool I want it to with my suction tool, hold down shift, click all of the shelves, right click, make it a group. Right click, rename. Closet shelf. I want to then hold down shift, select the first one, select the last one, right click, make group, right click, rename, closet one by fours. These are all of the little closet rods. So I'm going to select all of those, right click, make it a group, right click, rename, closet rods. Lastly, let's go ahead and click on under tags, click on the little plus, type in closet. Mine comes up with a very similar color to the roof, so I want to click on that color. And just make sure, and I'm going to bring it into more of a neon color. I'm then going to open up my entity info. I'm going to select each of my little closet pieces and change the tag from untagged to closet. Now if we, in our tags, if we uncheck our closet, everything should disappear. At this point, make sure that you go in here and you save your process, your progress. Make sure that you take screenshots showing both your outliner panel with all your closet things along with the new tag make take screenshots of both the left and the right sides and this concludes this video um, in our next video we will be taking a look at the windows using the follow me tool in order to create some custom windows um, throughout our house thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos in this tutorial series